Welcome. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about um, facing pages and balance in InDesign and I'm going to be using our magazine project as an example. Um, I'm also going to talk about creep, um, the margins, and then how to delete page one in your document of InDesign, which is always a little tricky um, and there is a way to do it. So what I've done is I've just created this um, document within InDesign that is three pages. So let's say you were just doing a spread and we weren't really doing the cover. Um, and this does happen often. Um, so if I tried to delete page one, it's, oh, I already uh, set my, well, let me make another one because I already changed it so that it would work. So. Let's try this again. If I do a three page document and I try and delete a page, this is what happens. There's always a single page up here. Um, and even if I added, let's insert, I don't know, five pages, what happens is there's always this single page up here and then there's gonna be a single page because I have an odd, um, I have an odd amount because of this funky single page. So anytime I try and delete that one, you can see it just moves the pages up and it keeps this one, which can be really annoying. So when I used to, when I first started out and I didn't know how to delete page one, I would just add like two more pages down here and I would just leave this one blank and go to these two. But you don't have to do that. Um, you can actually delete this. It just takes a couple of steps here. And what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna highlight the pages below. So however many pages you have, you're gonna delete them. So if I had, let me add a few more pages here. Um, if you click on the first one and hold shift and then click on the, the last one, it highlights all of them. You could also hold shift and highlight every one, but it takes a little longer. Um, so you just highlight everything except page one. You go to the four little lines at the top of that pages panel and deselect allow selected spreads to shuffle. So once you do that, you can click on page one and hit delete and it allow it to um, shuffle those other pages up and it deletes that page one. So that is how you get rid of um, how you delete the those pages. And then um, I wanted to talk about creating balance within your magazine. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of student, um, some student work here. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to go to preview mode. So a couple of things on this one. There are some things that are really working. Um, and then there are some things that could be better. So one thing that could be better is the margin around this edge is not big enough at all. This feels okay, but this is way too tight. You could look at any magazine um, and this should really continue um, onto this page and so should the margin. So um, this bottom feels okay, probably could be a little bit bigger in between um, here and this should be lined up. So if you were to actually drop a guide here, I'm going to go to the outside. Oops. I'm going to go to the outside so that the guide goes all the way across. But if I were to drop a guide where that text is, I can't tell if I'm on it or not. No, I'm not. So let me get a little closer. So if I were to drop that here, this text should be sitting on top of that same guide so that way it feels like it's balanced all the way across. Um, this is also a really weird kind of staggered feel. It definitely feels off balanced. It feels kind of weird. Um, so, um, you know, this here, I mean, even just aligning these probably would help um, if you clicked on all of them and went to a line and center aligned. Um, that already feels a lot better. Uh, not that this is finished, probably still would want to make some other changes, but just thinking about that balance um, and how you can create uh, some balance within your document. You need to think of these as one big page 
and how can you take what's on this side to this side and make them feel like they're cohesive. And the student did that with the color really well, um, not necessarily the margins. The, um, I mentioned creep, and creep is the, um, on some magazines, especially magazines that are a lot of page count, um, it sinks into the middle more. So if you're recreating pages for a magazine that's 120 some odd pages, then you're going to want to leave your center margin a little larger because you have to allow for creep where the pages creep towards the center. That's where that word comes from. Okay, let's look at another one. Um, here's um, the cover, and then here is that uh, inside spread. So this, um, the margins feel better around the outside. It's perfectly fine to have images that go off. However, this should be expanded, um, extended off the page. So not just end at the page. So this image should actually, it needs to move up or you have to create some more, find a different image, whatever it might be, but you need some that bleeds off the edge. Um, the margin that's here on this side feels pretty big, um, but you do need to keep your columns the same width. So if this one is the same width as this one, which it looks like it is, then that's why they have it that way, but you could also open this up a little bit more so that that space is not distracting. There's also a balance on this page because there's one, two, three images. They also make our eye kind of move in this kind of roundabout way, which is nice. The only thing that stands out to me on this page is this blue text. Um, I know it's pulled from her shorts, but there's really no other um, blue on here, so it's a little distracting, and I don't know the answer. Maybe it's the green color, um, which that to me feels a little bit better because it's pulling in from the other page, um, so that it kind of creates this balance across the two pages. So we're seeing red, red, and red. Um, so that's this really nice balance of color. Um, and now we have this green and green um, going on too. So that also creates um, some great balance. And the other thing I wanna point out is that this one has a three column and a single column, which is perfectly fine. It almost feels like a four column. So she's taking up kind of those two columns with this picture. So if it were me, I would actually take this picture over here and see how wide is a two column. And that's how wide I would want to make my image. So, and there is some extra image there so you can move that over. So now it's actually balanced with, um, between the, the, the columns here in between the pages. Um, okay, so that's a second one. And then just to kind of show you, I have so many files opened up here. We're not even seeing them all. We're only seeing four, but if you click on this little arrow here, um, it'll show you all the files that you have open. Um, and that can be helpful just to kind of toggle between. Okay, so this student did um, Game Informer. Um, there's the, the uh, main page and then here's the inside. So this one has a different kind, um, kind of a balance. That last one we saw had pictures kind of all around. This one, it really has like this heavy top and right side um, kind of feel to it. And then it has a two column inside. So this one doesn't have a, as much text, um, but there's still some kind of a balance here. And you can see these are aligned and thinking of the space between these pictures and between these pictures, they feel balanced. Um, the location of these quote marks is a little bit weird to me. I would have rather seen this one down here, and I think these page numbers are a little close and a little too big. So there's no difference if you think of hierarchy. It just feels like it's part of the text. So I would have changed the, um, the page numbers um, to be something either a little smaller, maybe they're gray, maybe they're blue, maybe they're moved down a little bit more, Maybe they're in the center, um, kind of depends on what this magazine does, but just something to, to think about. Okay, so that is talking about um, your facing pages and balance within um, 
your magazine. I hope this was helpful.